Hello there, this is Dietrich Braun, Ending in the Machine. I wanted to uh, take this uh, opportunity to try to get clearer on the three waves of ascension. And uh, according to uh, an Ashtar uh, channeling from uh, Cloverleaf Connections, um, Ashtar says basically the uh, three waves of the ascension are directly related to the three waves of the photon belt okay and so um, ascension is simply an upliftment in frequencies okay so some people are descending okay so you'll you'll know if you're sinking into you know depression illness and cancer and all that then you're descending in frequency if you're rising and ascending in frequency then you are having upliftment in you know in your health and your mood and um, your thoughts and, and energy is uh, increasing okay so that's what I mean by the three waves of ascension I haven't gone to the three waves yet okay but and then the photon belt is is uh, a band of gamma radiation that our uh, solar system goes through uh, twice in our in a twenty six thousand year cycle. Okay, so we've been uh, entering this photon belt for quite some time, and and uh, uh, the photon belt, the gamma radiation is agitative, so it's it's kind of like a if you would put a a glass of water in a microwave oven, and you would turn it on. It would agitate the water okay so the gamma radiation is just very agitative to like all what we define as molecules even so it's like uh, um, say sodium chloride you know in once it enters into the photon belt it may kind of go like this eh, like do a shift molecularly and uh, and uh, <clears throat> not be salt as or you know sodium chloride or salt as we know it to be okay changing it will have a different form okay so uh, all life as we know it is going through a shift we can see evidence of the photon belt in all of the other planets that are going through visible and measurable physical changes and so uh, <clears throat> our planet is uh, basically you know a, a holdout planet if you will in our solar system and in the rest of the universe for uh, um, going through an upgrade or an ascension in frequency okay so we have uh, three waves of the photon belt are connected with the three waves of ascension all right and uh, so some of the other channels, channel messages from uh, other times and such have spoken of the three waves of ascension that would have started, you know, already. They've already started. Okay. I'm aware of those, of those messages and, uh, and feel that actually, no, um, the first wave hasn't begun yet. Because uh, in the first wave that there would be those um, teacher beings or um, evolved beings who would uh, be ready for their upgrade if you will you know like a big upgrade okay where we're changing from one type of species into another type of species okay so imagine in, in this in this scenario and it's only scenario it's not like the plan or anything but imagine in this scenario that a first uh, the first wave they get uh, beamed up to uh, one of these uh, ships and and uh, go through some sort of a um, <clears throat> uh, it's like a they just it's been described as like an MRI machine of, of you know where we lie down and and thing goes zzz, and we go into that MRI machine and then it does like moves energy so in this case the machine would be designed to restore our DNA uh, not only restoring it, you know, to uh, Homo sapien, 
but uh, then there could be a process afterwards that can then restore, um, excuse me, take that restored uh, uh, bean and then uh, give it an upgrade with uh, some uh, gamma radiation and, and literally shift everything at the molecular level, you know. So, um, <clears throat> the first wave then would be the teachers, the enlightened beings who are ready for this, you know, in, intense change in the blink of an eye, in the blink of an eye. Now you see them, now you don't. They're not even here on the planet. The first wave, uh, you know, you may be sitting, sitting there and if you're, this person is a member of the first wave, they just zap all of a sudden they're not there. Uh, then beam to these ships, where uh, even to further bend our minds, uh, time experienced on a ship isn't necessarily the same time experienced on the surface of the planet. So the purpose of the first wave then is to eventually come back and to uh, come back as like a changed being of some sort, you know, maybe Maybe uh, those who've gone through the first wave and come back are uh, taller or more vibrant in, in health. Maybe they would have uh, like an aura, a visible aura, similar to what Jesus, the being we've come to know as Jesus, uh, was depicted in paintings, always having this like aura. And so, so anyways, uh, apparently the change of the first waivers who have go through this process is not going to be deniable. Okay. So then they're walking amongst now humans and have been dropped off by the ships. And uh, then there is the second waivers. And then the second waivers will be like, oh yeah, maybe something is going on. Look at uh, Joe Smith over there. He's all of a sudden he's like two feet taller and has an aura. So when that happens, if, if that would happen in a similar scenario, that would be an amazing wave of awakening energy for the second waivers, who would then, uh, um, I don't know what the process would be. I mean, it could even take place on the planet at, by this point or not, I don't know, but they go through their Upgrade, and they're like, "Yeah, I wanna, I wanna send. I wanna be part of the upliftment of humanity, and I'm, I'm no longer interested in descending into like lower frequencies." And so, uh, so then this would be the second waivers. Then the third waivers would be any sort of holdouts who are not like sure, you know, some beings who still, well, I love my rock music and my, you know, my Alice Cooper posters and. Uh, and I like watching uh, Gene Simmons and, on MTV. And if you're into like lower frequencies, descending frequencies, then you're not gonna make the third wave. The third wave is those who are uh, like um, the indigos, the crystals, and other beings who are just are like making their choices at the last minute, okay? If you get in there to the third wave, by the time the third wave goes through their shift, Everything at that point has then gone and all life as we know it on the planet has just kind of went and has done like a total upgrade of some sort. And we are uh, instantly then transformed because the photon belt transforms at the molecular level. Okay, so it's not like it's not cleaning up you know, the uh, not changing the galaxy as we know it. It's changing this part of the galaxy into something entirely new. Okay? So, uh, this is um, <clears throat> very intriguing. And uh, NASA, you know, which we, how much can we trust them? But they do at least admit to the photon belt. Uh, it, it, its existence. They call it like a cosmic cloud if you're going to research the internet or a, a nebulous cloud or th there's other terms for it, okay? So, um, search Indian in the machine and photon belt online and it, you'll, you'll come across uh, 
<clears throat> further research. And uh, but uh, don't wait too long because uh, <clears throat> we are only moments before the uh, end of the Mayan calendar, and uh, we're expecting on the December 12, 12, 2012, we're expecting some sort of a giant leap in consciousness. So please participate in uh, group celebrations in your area for December 12th. And then, uh, so there'll be a giant upliftment in our consciousness. And then on the 21st, there'll be another giant step up. Okay, so feel free to ride those waves, but don't wait for something to happen. Uh, and then you're going to take action, okay? When you, uh, <clears throat> if you're waiting for it to happen, you're not going to be a part of it because it'll have happened without you. Does that make sense? I, I hope that makes sense because I know so many people out there are waiting for something to happen before they take action. Mm -hmm. And that will only uh, just keep you stuck in non-action, okay? This isn't something that's going to be handed to you on a silver platter. This is something that you will be a part of when you uh, are ready to be present and experience the love that is uh, present within and all around us. So uh, it's, it is a, a journey back to ourselves. It's a reunion back to ourselves and back to our love and back to the love of everything. So, uh, be of the stars and be of the earth. I wish you a balanced experience through these times. It certainly feels like we are uh, on the verge of something very amazing and uh, reality changing. So keep your mind and heart open for that. Create space in your mind and create space in your heart for something more beautiful than we can imagine.